Who would benefit the most from a fifth title, LeBron or Steph? I'm going to say Steph Curry. Um, is this the moment, Molly, where I get into the subject that I wanted to get into that I told you about? Yes, is this what, you have, is this yes, the time? You have permission. <sighs> J.J. Redick. Oh, my God. Mad what? Dog Russo. Oh, my God. I want y'all to sit down, and I want you to grab your seatbelt at what I'm about to say. If Steph Curry beats LeBron in this series, and dare I say, wins his fifth NBA championship. We might have to remove LeBron James off of Mount Rushmore and put Steph Curry on it. That's right, I said it. Now, my Mount Rushmore is Jordan, LeBron, Kareem, and Bill Russell. Now, doggy, I know you would not encourage me to remove Bill Russell, the 11-time no. champion. 11 and 1 in postseasons, the ultimate winner, not to mention the fact he did it as a player coach in, in the city of Boston during those times during the civil rights era and the end of it. I mean, come on now, we got to keep him there. I know you wouldn't tell me, doggy, to move Kareem Abdul Jabbar, 19 time All Star, six time champion, all right, six time MVP, okay, the only individual in the history of the sport with a signature unstoppable move. I know you wouldn't tell me that, doggy. Nope. So if we're, if we're doing and, and I know no one would tell me to remove Michael Jordan, y'all are not drug users. You know better, okay? So now that we got those three out of the way, now let's get to LeBron. I believe that LeBron James is the second best player in the history of basketball. I'm not trying to throw. This ain't about throwing any shade on him. It's about elevating Steph. And I'm looking at Steph. You're 3-1 and one against him in the finals. Everybody want to sit up there and point to the two championships that Steph got because supposedly he needed Ke Kevin Durant to do it. Well, how's Kevin Durant doing without Steph Curry? That's point number one. Point number two, didn't LeBron need D-Wade and Bosch to win his first two? I mean, we can't ignore that. What a number, the third one he got, that stimulus package that Adam Silver and the NBA threw at LeBron, you know what I'm saying, by suspending Draymond Green for the game five, that ultimately they would have won because they had won game four. They went up 3-1 in Cleveland, going back to Golden State. Draymond gets suspended. Iguodala and Bogut gets hurt. And Steph was hurt the whole series. But that's neither here nor there. I'm nitpicking. My point is, when you look at it from that perspective, the greatness of Steph Curry, the greatest shooter on the planet Earth, the greatest shooter God ever created, a two-time league MVP, a four-time champion, it would be five times. He'd have one title more than LeBron. Three of those titles, he beat LeBron. And oh, by the way, he played three years at Davidson. He didn't come straight out of high school, okay? So he still got time. Lord knows what he would have done if he had those three extra years in the NBA. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to say that Steph Curry belongs on it. I'm saying that it's a discussion. If he beats LeBron and he wins a fifth chip, it's a discussion that somebody can't just dismiss. You still might go with LeBron because LeBron is obviously a more complete, better all-around player. But the point is, you have to have the discussion if that happens. So, yes. That's what something like this could potentially mean. I said it. <laughs> he can win 50 titles to even suggest that he should be at number four in the history of the NBA. And you guys love to make fun of my little history nuggets. I understand that. But hold on now. You're going to put him over Magic Johnson? You are going to put, you're going to put this guy over Magic Johnson. You talk about a guy who changed the game. A 6'8 yeah. point guard who can dominate yeah. a game by scoring yeah. five points. Didn't have to score. Won five championships plus one in college. So you're going to put him over Magic Johnson. Are you saying you I should have Magic Johnson right on Mount Rushmore right now? You saying Magic? I should have Magic Johnson? I'm just no, saying, you saying I, I should I mean, have Magic on right now? I'm giving you a guy okay. you can consider over the Mount Rushmore before Curry. My okay. Mount Rushmore is pretty much what yours is. I agree with you on Russell. I agree with you on Kareem. I, I, I don't like to do it. But I have to give you LeBron, and I got to give you Jordan. But the idea now that Curry isn't as Curry's not better than Magic Johnson. He's not a better player than Magic Johnson. No way. 
Magic Johnson beat the six. He scored. You see Magic? 42, did you, did you were there? Did you see Magic Johnson's game six without Kareem? I was not Philly there. I was in junior rookie. high school. As a rookie. But it, I understand. I was did in you junior see the high game? school. You were there. That's you were up. Did you see it? I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Come on. I know. I tell you right now. I know you guys like to make fun of me. It's supposed to be him. You can make fun of me all we want. What? I got two guys you got to at least consider. Where's Wilt? We're going to not put uh, Wilt in there. This is a guy that averaged no. 50 a game no. in the NBA. I don't care. I don't care. He's got two titles to the Bill Russell's 11. No. I'm not putting Wilt in there. No. Two greatest no. teams of all time. I'm not doing it. 66, 67. I'm not doing it. And, 71, two. and I know you laugh. I know you laugh. I know you laugh. Larry Bird, Larry Bird. You Larry got Bird. it, baby. <laughs> Larry, Larry Bird. Bird. That's who? Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Go watch the game. Here's what I want J.J. to do tonight. We're on his way to Phoenix for game four, three with his little buddy Jefferson and Ryan Rucco. Go watch game five in 100-degree heat in 1984 in Boston. And go watch Bird. 32 points, 17 rebounds, 8 assists, 15 for 20 from the floor in a 100-degree heat and a furnace box. Auerbach would have put the air on in a furnace box. And you have the audacity. You have the, you to sit on this show with me yes. here. That's with right. me here. I'll come on Mad Dog like Radio and say it, too. I'll come on Mad Dog Radio and say it, too. You had your, your two, I do 40 it. minutes of my time on Friday. No, I, I didn't take it. You gave it to me. I just called to say hello. You the one that kept me on doing me an interview with the governor. I didn't ask for that. Stephen A., can the Suns beat the Nuggets without Chris Paul? I don't believe they can. Um, I don't believe they can beat Denver with him right now, the way that I've seen them look the first two games. Um, I just think that uh, Denver's bigger. They have more depth. Uh, obviously, they've got some perimeter shooting, and they're not relying on two stars playing 44 plus, 43 plus minutes a night. Um, I think that the absence of use by Monty Williams of his bench um, puts such a boatload of pressure on Devin Booker and, and, and Kevin Durant. If you're Denver, all you have to do is wait until the fourth quarter, wait for the game to wane, and then pull away because – you wear them out because they're tired. That's a lot to ask, and that's a lot to put on the shoulders of two guys. That is what, unfortunately, I think the great coach that is Monty Williams has done in this series. And so when you look at Phoenix's bench production, which is the least and the lowest in these playoffs for any team yeah. uh, at 14 points a game, I, I just don't see how they – I, I, th I thought they, they were Are they in danger of winning. getting swept? Yes, I believe they are. I, I'm not betting on that. I think that KD and Devin Booker could get you one game. But are they in danger of getting swept? Yes, they got to win game three. They got to win game three because I think that Cleveland, I think that Denver will close them out if, if they don't. I, I, right now, I'm looking at five games, and I'm not ruling out four. Look, I, I think the Suns can win a game. I, I, I'll agree with you on that. I, I don't think they're, they're going to win this series. It would take – Two Herculean performances uh, for the next for four out of the next five games from Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. But I do think, Stephen A., that they had a very clear strategy in game two. Game one was a pretty game. Easy ball movement, easy body movement for Denver. You can't beat Denver playing that way. The offense is just too good. They're too skilled. And to your point, Phoenix doesn't have the ancillary pieces and the depth to withstand the shooting of KCP, the shooting of Michael Porter Jr., whatever it may be, Denver has a more complete roster. But they mucked it up in game two. They were physical. They did a better job in the Jokic-Murray two-man pick, pick and roll and the dribble handoff action. I think about that game, and Kevin Durant, his missed three specifically. Look, he had good looks. Those are shots that he, he's, he's made throughout his career, shot over 40% from three this year. A couple of those go down. We may be talking about a split series right now. So I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that the Suns get a game or even two games in Phoenix without CP. But it's going to take the two of them having great games, and it's going to take a guy like Terrence Ross, Landry Shamit, campaign, one of them having a three or four three-point game. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.